I just got this package in the mail and it is from Casa and they make um, a Bitcoin full node and lightning node all in one. And you can see I just taped this up because it has personal information. But I'm going to open it up and see what we have. And Yes, I am opening it from the bottom. And interesting enough, here it is. This looks like some sort of VESA mount. A little power supply, power adapter. Now this retails for $300, which is kind of a little pricey for what it is because you can build your own but um, I think what you're paying for is more for the ease of use and the software definitely the hardware is not worth $300 so here it comes with a Ethernet cable here is a USB to SATA adapter and this looks like um, some sort of, yeah, these are um, international power adapters for different countries. And here is the CASA box itself. Let's put this aside. And it's just a plain white box. Looks like it does have some kind of security seal. So break that open yeah kind of hard to deal with one hand let me see there we go Okay, and look here, nice little note, some instructions, and I'll be going through them. So basically just plug the hard drive adapter. Plug the Ethernet cable into your CASA node and Wi Fi router, and then plug in the power cable. And it looks like there's a recovery phrase. So I'll do that later. Here's the device itself. So the hard drive is already installed. A little disappointed it's this way of um, installing it, but it is what it is. It's a, it's a large Raspberry Pi case with a hard drive built in and the case just pops up. And as you can see, this is definitely a Raspberry Pi because it looks just like the one I've built without the heat sinks. And over here, you can see the SD card for the operating system. But that's it. Okay, I'm going to put it back together. Put it this way. There we go. Just snaps in, it doesn't screw in. And this little cord. Just basically plugs into one of the USBs. Now this supposedly uh, came uh, pre-sync, but I'm pretty sure in shipping um, it's going to be a few days behind, so it will take some time. So let's plug this guy in. Which is 
nicely lined up. And then on this side, yeah, this is a little, not liking this. Anyway, and then the ethernet goes in here and then the power goes on this side. So I'm gonna power it up. Right here is the, the port for power. I'm going to get this plugged in, power it up and test it out. Okay, once you get your CASA node up and connected, powered on, and um, basically running, um, you are directed by the instructions to go to casa-node.local. Now, um, if it doesn't work right away or if you get the Google search bar, you want to put the HTTP colon in front of it and back uh, forward slash forward slash in front of it and then hit enter and you'll get this. Now. As it, as it is um, just been delivered, it probably hasn't fully synced up with the blockchain. So I'm assuming that's what it's doing right now. So um, hopefully um, in a couple of minutes, um, it will be synced and we can uh, get to the actual device. So I'm going to stop or pause this recording and start it back again once it is done quote sprucing up your casa okay so it took more than five minutes to get to the screen but here we are and I did refresh it and now we are at the setup so I'm gonna click a begin setup and it's going to create your 24 uh, key uh, 24 word key so click I understand Okay, when it's done syncing, you will be presented with uh, this screen, and you can see these are your seed phrase. I've uh, I've uh, hidden mine's out, um, but what it is, it'll give you the the twelve or, or I think twelve or twenty-four. I'm not too sure. It'll give you your seed words, and you, it gives you times to um, copy it, and then go from every word, second, third. Now it's recommended that you do not type out these words and I will just pause the video and uh, write them down and then start it up again um, when it's done. Okay, so there's 24 seed words and when you've written them all down, click on finish and then give it a password. has to be 12 plus characters okay now click on continue setup. Sync time will take a few hours for your node to finish its first sync. So click on continue. And then of course it says Lightning Network and Cast Node are experimental. So basically they're just saying they're not liable if you lose any funds that you store on this Lightning Node. And just click agree. And here we are. So it says there's a software update. But before I click there, we can see um, the status. So I'm going to do, um, let's, let's do the software update first. Firm. and I'm going to stop the video and start it when it's done again so in about a minute you're presented with the screen where it says software is updating reload this window in five minutes 
So I'm going to stop the video now and then restart it in about 5 minutes. Okay, so once the CASA node is done syncing and you've logged back in with the password that was created earlier, um, you can see this is the screen you'll get. You can see Bitcoin is 100% synced. Lightning is active. And the system here is showing that there's 212 gigabytes used of the one terabyte drive that was included. If we go to view settings, you can see there's troubleshooting logs that you can download just in case you are having issues with your CASA node. And uh, I guess if you uh, send it to their support, they can go through those logs and help you out or you can try troubleshoot them yourself. Here's the option to update the software. Normally, um, when you start it, as uh, you'll see that it'll tell you that there was an update. But if there was an update, you just would click update, enter your password, and then confirm, and then just wait for it to update and reboot. But you click abort, and then if you need to shut down your device to um, move it or do it what whatever with it, uh, just hit shut down. And um, once it's done, shut down, move it, and then when you plug it back in, it will automatically power back on. So let's click close and let's go to Bitcoin. So 100% synced. If we go click here, it shows you your transactions. Um, you can withdraw from this Bitcoin wallet. Nothing to withdraw. And I'll show you what's remaining, what's in Lightning and what's in the actual wallet. And deposit. Show you the address to deposit to. Just if you use a... Uh, phone wallet or whatever you can just uh, scan the QR code so let's close that and then if you click here manage node so in here you can see the IP the status how many inbound connection peers I don't have any right now um, and if you want to allow incoming connections now if you are having problems with it to sync you will have to you can uh, click the uh, sync from scratch and it'll basically just redo the whole thing now that would take a very very long time if you're depending on your internet connection and also this is basically a raspberry pi so it's not going to process those blocks as quickly as a just a regular computer so i'm just going to close that okay let's go to the lightning section so click on transactions here is where you would send and receive lightning payments so if you click there, we're not going to send it, but um, it's pretty much self-explanatory to follow the prompts. I mean, to receive it. So payment code, um, I'll probably go through that part later, like do a test transactions. I still have to, um, uh, I still have to put some BTC in this lightning node. Okay, and then we go manage node and you can see I don't have any channels open or BTC pending or whatever because there's no I haven't put any BTC in it well that's it for this video um, I'll probably uh, play around with it a bit more and make uh, some more videos um, get some channels connected to it and do some transactions on it but um, that's it for now thanks for watching